ever world that I created and uh, there's a plane in there there's like a little mini castle there's my actual house that I built with that when I didn't start building all these walls and stuff there's my lava little entrance there's a massive never-ending tunnel there's a cinema there's all these crossroads and stuff all the way to the beach and the car park and everything like that and then the football pitch of course which I made out of redstone so that's always good but first off we'll show you uh, the cinema this is what I'm working on at the moment once it's all completed I'll show you another video of it and um, it's basically upstairs is the staff area then the toilets so this is what I'm working on at the moment screen 4 but screen 1, 2 and 3 have all been completed oh creepy noise but yeah you take away the torches then it's all good let's make it night time so there yeah. that's what it is because that's the screen showing you this is the smallest one of all so that's the screen 3 cinema because it's upstairs but if we go downstairs we have two more screens and then we have the tills then we have the popcorn and the sweets and all the stuff check out but we go downstairs and this is the cinema so these are the little benches to the side but you can watch this cinema over here over here you can do what you want but I think the best seat is this one because you can see everything or this one yeah this one's probably the best but yeah that's that's the cinema screen so it's pretty cool and the same thing is over here same type same layout whatever so yeah it's a bit smaller again it gets smaller screen I think this is screen 2 is it yeah screen 2 but yeah so that's the cinema it's always good over here as you can see it's not completed this is for a pizza hut that might change though this is for Frankie and Benny's and this is for a KFC but like other stuff can be done so it's alright so you have the little flowers and stuff along the edges to make it look better the zebra crossing of course and these are the security maintenance and help team like little area in case we need something so you need to collect the ticket so you collect it and then you go into the pure beach parking and there's bus lorry spaces there's car lorry spaces there's there must be some other stuff there's motorbike spaces saw that but then you walk in and you see the football pitch and people will be playing on there the home team so this is the home team and this is the away team and then you have your little stand watching it all it's a little five side kick area and then you go walk down to the beach and then you have your little huts because some sand or whatever beaches have like private huts that you can stay in there's one underneath and there's one above so there's ten huts here that you can have and that's always good oh this is the lifeguard post ah oh, yeah so you have nine huts so yeah it's the beach down here so you go down and the shore because of the in the seaside you always have like all the waves and stuff so this is acting like the waves you get pushed backwards so that's always good you can have a bit of fun there so yeah <laughs> that's the beach and that's the car park that's the cinema and that's all the stuff that's going to be happening soon that's the never ending tunnel which I don't really want to show you because it's never ending so I'll never be able to finish this video but then we move on to my lava hut full of trees so you walk in there's lava underneath you and you're like what? what's going on? So this is the vine and tree house so you walk in you can see there's loads of vines everywhere there's nothing in here but then it's got the never ending furnace that's already lit so that's always good and then you've got the black wall going all the way around all of this but over here 
I'm not sure what to put here. So if you have got any ideas what to put here, tell me in the description because I'd love to know. Now over here, this is going to be like a car park. It might sound silly, but it's because, well, I suppose we could make this into a jail because it's away from all the land and everything. And then we could make that the car park. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. So yeah, that's going to be the jail. And that's going to be the car park. But then, now we come to the aeroplane. So, I don't know what it's called yet, but it's a pretty cool aeroplane. I got bored, so just made it. If we pop into it from the back, go up, and this is all the storage area where you can put all your luggage and stuff. But then you go down, and this is second class. Well, this is first class rather, because you have two screens for each person, so you can choose your own channel. You sit in it, and first class is red. And you go down, and you go into second class. Second class, with two people on the seat, you have to share the screen. So you have to talk about it. But second class is blue, but it's still pretty nice. So this is this is the cockpit where the where the pilots sit down here and drive it and go off to your destination. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's quite a simple design, but it's it works. So all is good. So if we go back down and we go to the castle thing, and the castle entrance not many people would be able to get into it because you have to go down below to get into it. You go down and you come to here. And there's two ways you can go. If you go up this way first, you go up, you go back down. And I was trying to make an underwater house at this time, so I don't know what to do. So this is a big area where you can keep all your storage and stuff. And as you can see, I was trying to make an underwater house, but I failed miserably. So I ended up making it into like a water area so you can look through it when you're walking down. And you go down and you go to this. And you find like a little tunnel and it goes through. You can go through under bases and stuff like that. But that's why it's the castle because you can go through different places without people knowing. But then you go back down. Oh. You go back down and then back up. And then you come out to the top. And you can look over all the walls and have a look what it's about. Then you can walk up here. And this is like the top bit so you can see everything. So that's pretty cool. You can see the little area above there. But now we come to my actual house, which most of it I made by myself. The glass, I don't think I did. But I had to place it all myself, which was a long time. But everything else I think it was fine. Even the glowstone. Go to the nether. Oh, my dog's not liking it. Don't know why those are there. <laughs> but so yeah, as you can see, it's probably definitely made by me because it's full of dirt. This is the little pool thing. There's two. One over there. One here. And in that little gl uh, glowstone dome, that is a jacuzzi. So you go down to my first house. It's just simple. You go down into the tunnels. And you walk along it, and the first one you see is just a normal chest room where you can stay or whatever. The second one, same thing again. The third one is another door down here. And this is this was my mind. It goes all the way down. Oh, I don't know why I'm doing that. Oh. It goes all the way down, so it's pretty cool. It goes down forever, and then it dips back up a little bit. And I found some lava, so I had to go back up. You got all my chest stuff. You can see me trying to do everything. And then we hit bedrock. So then we decide to go back up. And then we found a nice little cabin or whatever. And you can see I have little signs: home right, then down, right, then down. So there you go. So there's little signs to tell me exactly where I'm going. And then I found all this stuff. And then, warning, black cave, haven't explored, be prepared. I don't know where this is. Okay. Probably around there. Oh well. It tells me everything. You have the lava. Then you have all, all the stuff anyway. So go left, then down. 
So if we go home, that was the cave, so little cabin system. But if we go back to the house, I'll show you everything else. It's all good. Come on. Up we go. That was much faster. So if we go along here, carry on walking, we come to a little bigger area where it's the exit or entrance if you want to be like, if you want to go like this way. But yeah, that's the other entrance slash exit. And then this is just the little jacuzzi chilling, which is always good. And then you go to here, and this is the like the docks. So you place the boat here, open the doors, and you swim out. So that'll be shown a bit later. And you go through here, and this is the, the fishing area. So you get your rod, chuck it down there, and it's a long area so you can fish. Then over here, as you can hear, this is my dog slash wolf area, whatever it is. So I've got quite a few. This is all legit, to be honest. So that was pretty cool. But there they are. So if we go around the back, if you may have noticed, um, there's a little area. Oh, and you hear the portal. So you go up, and there's the portal. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know what's up with that? That's weird. Oh, you go back up, and then you come to the opening area where you can shoot skeletons or zombies, whatever. And then you have your little lonesome bed. But if we go back down to here, open the doors, grab a boat. Let's go. What is there? It is. Grab a boat. Place it down. Get into it. Turn. Oh. There we go. Yep. Yep, I'm through. Go. There. And then you off you go. And then that's the little area we can go along. And if we turn it to sunrise, it says bye with some smiley faces. So you go off all the way out and you can say bye to the world which is pretty cool so back into the open world and, uh, oh that was my little box <laughs> so that was it oh that's pretty cool landscapes um, so thanks for watching this is Mike's Mains hope you liked it and you wait for other videos so subscribe and enjoy the rest of the day cheers <laughs>